ready, buddy? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, you so haven't you haven't been on a video in a long time. I know. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you a little nervous? A little. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Man, Maverick and I are super, super excited because it's finally here. Yes, the Topper Jewelers G-Shock wall clock. Man, this thing is super, super cool. And normally I would say, as usual, we're gonna open this thing up, yada, 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 look at the features, which we are, but this is a little different video today. Um, this is basically a promotion that Topper Jewelers, which is one of the number one G-Shock retailers in the country, they ran a promotion that if you bought certain G-Shocks, you get this free wall clock. Now me being cheap sometimes, <laughs> I happen to get the cheapest one you could get, which is this Blue Note Special Edition G-Shock over here. They had a whole bunch of other ones, you know, some of the, the Mr. G's and MTG's, which were thousands of dollars. I, you know, I figured why spend that much when you can spend about 350 bucks uh, for the Blue Note and get the clock for free. Now this promotion has ended. They're not selling them anymore. Uh, so if you go to Topper Jewelers, you're not gonna see it. I think people just went nuts over this thing and bought them all up. Hopefully you got one of the cheaper G-Shocks instead of having to spend you know, thousands of dollars on one of the Mr. G's or MTG's or one of the really high-end G-Shock watches. Anyway, here you go. Here is the watch box. It's based on the DW5600. Now this actually has a model name itself and I'll show you here in just a second. So Maverick, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's open this thing up. I only have you know, so much room to work with here. All right, so open up the box. I hope I don't knock the camera when I do this. Uh, all right, here, buddy. Take this. All right. Hold it for me. Okay. I'm going to pull the clock out. Here's a little piece of paperwork that it came with. And this is actually the VGW-902. This is your instruction manual. Super easy. You got it, buddy? Good job. All right. Okay. Take the box away. Now, it does come with batteries. I'm pretending like I'm just opening this, but I've, <laughs> I've actually already opened this and put the batteries in. So anyway, here we go. Take the foam off. Take the foam off. There we go. In fact, let's get that out of the way. Put it in the box. Well, I thought we were reviewing the packaging. Well, we are reviewing the packaging. We just saw the packaging, but thanks for uh, reminding me. All right, here we go. Here's the big reveal. Oh my God, that's making my man parts tingle. Oh my God, it's so cool. What do you think, Mav? I think it's pretty cool. I mean, wow, look at that. I've already set the date. There was also a, a piece of protective plastic over the display that I've taken off. So there you go. It's got buttons on the side. Uh, they don't work. Mm -hmm. They're just for show. Let me show you the back here. There is the back. Now it says light right there, but it doesn't have a light. That's just how you turn off the display. So let me show you that. So if you don't want the watch to be on, basically it's just how you turn it off. So you go back here, you press and hold it for three seconds and the display goes off. There you go. Press and hold it again. The display goes on. And then the set button is over here. You just press and hold it for three seconds. And then you can cycle through all of the, uh, the settings. You know, there's your year your month, your day, and then it goes through the time. It asks you if you want 12 or 24 hour time. 12 hour cool. or 24 hour, yep, there you go. It'd be cool if it was actually 200 meter resist. That would be cool if it was actually 200 meter resist. What if I could like show a wrist shot? <laughs> There's a wrist shot, guys, y'all love to see. There's my wrist shot. A Little bit big on the wrist. Yeah. All right, and now you're back to just regular timekeeping. So there you go, man. Again, it's based on the 5600, one of the very first G-Shocks ever made. Uh, I mean, the detail is incredible. Obviously, you know, like I said, the buttons don't work, but the actual clock itself, let me see if I can get it in there. It's, uh, let me see if I can pull up the specs for this thing. I think it's like 12 inches by something. What are the specs? Yeah, it's 12 and a half inches long by 11 inches wide by 1.75 inches thick. There you go. Maverick's, oh, Maverick's, right Maverick's over here fanning me with his shirt. I think he's hot. I think the studio light's making him a little bit hot. Good I'm Lord. I'm hot in both ways. You're hot in both ways? Jesus Christ. Anyway, so there you go. What else I want to tell you about this thing? Um, that's it, man. Uh, I'm probably going to put up a wall shot of me actually hanging this clock up on the wall. Anyway, here's the clock actually up on one of my walls. Take a look at it. See what you think. 
pretty cool. Uh, and guys, I don't know if I'm going to sell this or not. I mean, you know, make me an offer. Uh, again, they're not doing this anymore. The promotion has ended. And I really don't know if I want to keep this. I mean, I, I think I might want to keep it. It's just so freaking cool. We're starting at 5000 We're starting at, uh, Maverick says we're starting at $5,000. <laughs> yeah, get me a new car. Get you, you're 11. I don't care. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so make me an offer. If you're really serious about it, you know, make me an offer. All offers will be private. Send them to my Maverick Watch Reviews at gmail.com email address. If you're really serious about it, uh, I'll accept offers for the next week or so. I'm also going to sell the Blue Notes, the Blue Notes, the Blue Notes Special Edition. Uh, nice watch. Make me an offer on that as well uh, if you want to buy that. Um, you know, just I, I like the watch, just not my personal, you know, favorite G Shock they've ever put out. You know, really cool watch. You know, it's got Bluetooth and some other stuff. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and show you this real quick. All right. There you go. Neat box, too, by the way. Yeah, I like the. Like you like, the, you like the box? Yeah, I like the design, too. I'm just not a big black and blue guy for my watches. Where are you going, buddy? What are you doing? There you go. G Shock, Blue Note Records. I think Blue Note Records was started back in like 1939 or something crazy. Yeah, something there you go. And there you go, man. There's the watch. Uh, pretty cool. Again, just not, you know, not my favorite. A little too blacked out for me as well. And I'm not crazy about the blue uh, and black combo. It'd be cool if they put some more gray in there. Yeah, that, that would be cool. They put a little bit more gray. I mean, it's a nice watch. Don't get me wrong. But just not my personal favorite. Let me see what's going on up here. There you go. Blue Note Records. Brand spanking new watch. So y'all make me an offer on this if you want to uh, buy it. I think these are probably going to go up in price uh, pretty soon because they don't have many of these left. So anyway, make me an offer on that if you want it as well. And guys, that's really been about it, man. Maverick, anything else you want to say? Um, well, I think it's cool. Yeah. But, like, but. I'm going on a wall. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. Well, I know that, but like. It just wouldn't really look cool. Like, I wish they made it out of, like, metal or something. Oh, my God. That would be cool. If they had made this out of, like, one of the new G-Shock metals, oh, man, that but would like, be cool. <laughs> what if you could, like, what if it made an actual, like, like band or whatever? Like an actual strap? Oh, yeah. oh, you're talking about, you know, back in the 80s, they made watches that actually hung on the wall. They were called a Swatch wall clock. Yeah, I thought that. I can't remember the name of what they were actually called. I'll put it up on the screen. But, you know, Swatch made those wall clocks that were like six feet tall it was an actual watch just like this but a swatch and it had a strap and they were about six feet tall and you hung up you hung them up on your wall you can actually i think still get them today they're like 150 or 200 bucks i think you can still get them today but that would have been cool if g-shock had actually put a strap on this thing too yeah that would have been really neat so there are the buttons just trying to show you a little more detail here that one guy just holding it let it in that sag just like I know. I don't know what you're talking about sagging. What are you talking about? Wait, no. <laughs> Maverick. <laughs> Why? Ew. It's on your wrist. Anyway. Like weighing you down. Weighing you down like uh, Flavor Flav with his wall yeah. clock. You don't know who Flavor Flav is. You're too young. Yes, I do. You do not. Yes, Flavor Flav. Oh, let me show you the back one more time. And then we'll go ahead and uh, finish this review, if that's what you can really call it. There you go. Again, you got light. You got down, up. That's how you adjust it. And then the set button. Right there. It comes with two AAA batteries. You know, they're kind of like generic batteries. I'll probably swap these out with some Duracells or whatever. But Varia or Varta, I'm sorry, Varta. Never heard of that fine brand before. <laughs> these Such batteries, I know these, these batteries will probably last about a, a week and then they'll probably die. But anyway, so there we go. Put this back. And uh, anyway, guys, there you go, man. So, uh, as usual, remember to like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. What other stuff do I normally say on these reviews? Yada, yada, yada. Uh, I would say head on over to Topper Jewelers and pick one up, but the promotion has ended. And uh, guys, that's it. Till the next review, this has been the G-Shock Wall Clock. And again, it actually has a model number, VGW-902. All right, guys, that's been about it for this one. I appreciate you joining in. Maverick, thank you for your help. You're welcome. I love you very much. You're the best kid in the world. Uh, I love you too. <laughs> Did that hurt to say that? Uh, a little. Oh, damn. That's, that's tough. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.